Hello ladies, welcome to Aphrodite's Posing. The inspiration behind these were something, um, I wanted to do something very sensual. Aphrodite is the goddess of beauty, so we definitely wanted to concentrate on making something like with a sensual touch with the robe. I really encourage using a robe for this one and creating that like, um, just really pretty experience. Aphrodite is affiliated with um, water and oceans and stuff too. So, um, yeah, something super flowy, and I love the lavender because it's kind of like the color pearls. So let's go ahead and jump into the posing. Um, the first one is also going to be super simple. I wanted to keep these simple because the creative theme for Aphrodite is photographing yourself nude. And with the robe, I feel like it, it creates that really great transition into being able to shoot yourself without any clothes on, but still feeling safe, you know, kind of tiptoeing into the world of self-portraiture when you're not really sure what you like or how you like to be photographed yet. So. Let's go ahead and jump into the poses. The first one is gonna be super simple. I'm gonna go ahead and take my selfie stick here um, and we are going to have it in portrait mode. I'm gonna be using a wall, so it's gonna be very, very easy. Um, what we're gonna do, and I believe you can still see me here, yes. Perfect, okay, awesome. So for this one, what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and grab our elbow up here. Go ahead and leave one hand relaxed up in the air, one on your elbow. And when you are leaning against the wall, what I don't want you to do is lean against the wall and then push all your booty weight onto it. What you wanna do is you still wanna keep your body activated, if that makes sense, so you don't look um, lazy in your picture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get close enough to the wall where we can almost kind of feel it. Go ahead and shift that weight onto one leg and go ahead and pop that other one up onto the toe just like we do all the time. Um, and what I'm gonna have you do is hinge at your waist until you feel your booty barely touch the wall. And right when you feel your booty touch the wall is where you wanna stop. Um, and I actually, wouldn't even pull your back all the way against the wall. You wanna keep your body activated and feel like you're in control. So go ahead and grab your elbow. Um, it doesn't matter which elbow because your camera is actually right in front of you. So let's go ahead and do this. Relax your hand. Whenever we feel tense, we uh, keep that in our wrists. So while you're kind of like keeping your hand dangled, remember to keep the tension out of your wrists and really relax into your wrists. So let's go ahead and grab your elbow. You're gonna relax this hand, shift that weight on one side, pop that toe, and then what I'm gonna have you do is you're just gonna look off to the side. So whichever side feels more comfortable, I'm gonna do mine off to this side barely and I'm just gonna look down for this picture because it makes me feel more comfortable not to be looking right into the lens. So let's go ahead and grab that picture really quick and see how it looks. Set my timer for 10 seconds. Here we go, perfect, okay. Here we are, barely onto the wall, pop that hip, grab that elbow, and we're gonna look off to the side. Perfect, and I really love boudoir because you don't have to worry about doing much with your face. I like to use lots of breathing exercises and stuff like that, but don't worry about smiling. Don't worry about trying to look sexy in your face. Just kind of relax into the pose and you will slowly find the way that you like to be photographed in terms of which side of your face and all that kind of good stuff. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and jump into the side pose because this is another pose that seems simple enough, but every single time I take this picture of my client, it sells every single time. Everyone loves it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and shift my selfie stick all the way over here, and I'm actually gonna raise it up a little bit because we want that downward angle, my spice angles, but we want that downward angle for this one. So let's, hello. Get it together, Bianca, what's going on? Okay. Just got a little crazy when I tightened it last time. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I'm gonna have my phone dangled, kind of angled down a little bit. Um, perfect, everything's tightened up. Okay, and we are gonna put this off to the side. And this is gonna be kind of like a headshot. So. Um, this is not gonna be a full body. 
It's gonna kind of go down to your elbows, sort of. Perfect, all right, and we wanna get that phone as close to the wall as we can to create that really pretty angle. Okay, so with your robe, we wanna get a little bit of sexy on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and drop it down past our, our shoulders. What we're gonna do this time, we're gonna use that same technique. So go ahead and shift your weight onto one side. We're gonna go ahead and barely tap the booty on the wall right when you feel that booty touch that wall, stop. Don't, don't push that booty in because if you are photographing yourself below your booty um, and you press down, it's gonna make your booty look flat and we don't want that, we want curves. All right, awesome. So I am going to go ahead and hold my elbows like this. Whenever you are placing your hands, try to place them kind of up. Don't go all the way over like this, like you're really holding yourself. You want it to look very dainty. You want your hands to look very tension free. So just relax your fingers. Don't pull like you're like yanking your arm over. Just, just kind of lightly place your hands here so it barely gets the fingers. We want to avoid photographing this part as the blunt part of the picture. So just like that, perfect. So we're gonna go right here, go ahead and pop that leg up, pop the leg that's closest to the camera so you create more triangles. Boom, over the shoulder. When you pull forward, I want you to hinge at your waist. Try not to pull your shoulder down like this. Hinge at your waist forward and then look down this way. All right, so let's go ahead and take ours. Boop, boop. Here we go. Ah, okay. Here we go. Choo, choo, choo. Hinge down. Perfect. Awesome. For the next Aphrodite pose, we're going to use the window again because I absolutely love the window and everyone loves these poses. Every time I shoot anything in the window, people love it. All right, awesome. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring our selfie stick right to the front. I'm gonna move the camera so you guys are straight on with me. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So we've got our selfie stick here. Let me go ahead and go through the pose really fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit into the window. And when you're sitting into the window, you don't have to like sit all the way back. Whenever you sit in general, pull your tushy to the front, like to the curve of anything, whether it's a couch or anything like that. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna really play more with um, having a great posture. Whenever you sit back, you just look kind of like you're not invested in the picture. Your, your posture goes, you know, your posture sits back and it's not, just doesn't look good. So just bring your tushy to the front and you can rotate yourself so that you're just like pushing on to the windowsill, if that makes sense. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one foot bent, one foot out, because we wanna create those triangles. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this down my shoulders just to like give it a little bit more sex appeal. But if you're shooting this naked, you can also keep it this way so you just get like that, the, like the boob shape right there in the front. So since I am not naked, we're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to Make sure my hands are flat out so it creates those really pretty lines. Hands are flat out. And what I want to do is I'm gonna drop my neck back like this. And what you can do is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, when you hit your shutter and it's counting down, what I would do is I would lean your, relax your head back like this, close your eyes and breathe in and out of your mouth. This is gonna feel really weird, but it looks really great for the picture. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Let me set my timer, it's already set. Perfect. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Five, four, three. Perfect. We got it. And that is Aphrodite, you guys. I hope you were able to get that and good luck playing with Aphrodite this month.